so what else do you take from yesterday? Let's just let's just say that that Gabe Morales calls that a check swing and Scherzer uh, takes care of Flores as we were, you know, many of us were expecting. Obviously, anything can happen. Let's just say the game ended normally on like a uh, a yeah. pop fly that Justin Turner, let's give him some redemption because he had the error in the ninth inning that made things a little bit more tight and nervous. Yeah. Let's say he grabs the he, he grabs a pop fly redemption. And what are we talking about today? Do you think? Well, I, I think we're talking about uh, how the Dodgers managed that game by choosing an opener uh, and Knable going to Gratterall. So biting off two innings there so that they could get their young star, Urias. Uh, four or five innings, he got four innings that got them deep into the game. Uh, I think, you know, opening yourself to the second guess and criticism is a very brave place to go. And the Dodgers did it. And they did it and really don't care what anyone thinks because they feel as though um, they did the right hedge for their team to get the 27 outs. Think about it. Those five guys that pitched last night, they were going to pitch in the game anyway. So it's just an order. Uh, for them, and I think they really felt because of Posey's numbers against Urias that one less at bat was was a good thing uh, um, for their team and for their ball club. And and Urias was great, uh, but it could have went south because the first two innings was the best chances that San Francisco had to score. And if they had scored a couple of runs, certainly we would be talking about something different today. But why, Ron? And again, I I, I am yeah. fully admitting. You know that I am a dinosaur, and yeah. I'm, and I'm 52, but I'm a dinosaur, man. You know, like I, 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 you know, give me the Logan Webb of doing it. You know, give me seven strong, and let's go. You know, as opposed to so what? What happens? Like, does Andrew Friedman and the rest of his staff get together in their in some hotel, you know, conference room, uh, you know, and decide uh, a few hours before the game this is what we're doing, and they they call Dave Roberts and tell him that, or is Roberts in on the meeting? How does this happen, Ron? What goes on? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. I think there is a meeting at some point. I heard it was the night before. Uh, Dave Roberts is in on the meeting, but he only gets one vote, and uh, and they go over the scenarios that they think will give their team the best chance. Uh, the algorithms that show that it's true, um, then they make a decision. And um, I'm with you. I mean, you know, I'm I'm 61 years old, and all I know is uh, is pitchers that uh, take the ball and, and go deep into the game. But the game has certainly uh, changed, and and you know this gambit uh, that the Dodgers decided uh, to do last night with the opener is interesting in this way, is that we've seen the small market teams, the Brewers, the A's, uh, the Rays, do these kind of things to stay equal with the big power teams. But now the big power teams like the Dodgers are doing them as well. So um, there is uh, um, some uh, facts for these teams that if they do this, they shorten the game. And certainly last night it worked to a T. Um, and... Um, you know, the Dodgers are better for it. I guess it helps to have, uh, you know, the, the money also to put Mookie Betts and his four hits atop the lineup and then <laughs> make a trade for Trey Turner and your closer and Max Scherzer, right? And then um, and then have Cody Bellinger, who, you know, is at some point, one would imagine, is going to have to strike it insanely rich, um, yeah. despite his awful season coming up big with a huge base hit to win it. I guess that, that helps for the combination uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. But... But my, yeah. I guess my question yeah. for you, Ron, is is what what is managing now, right? I mean, oh, we saw Mike Schilt yeah. lost his job yesterday because of differences of opinion, I guess, in, in St. Louis. But what what is the the role of manager now in the 21st century of baseball, Ron? Yeah, what is I it? personally I personally find the managerial position one of the least attractive positions in baseball right now. <laughs> um, I can't even imagine um, sitting in your office. And having streams of people coming in and, and handing you things that uh, they find important, uh, having meeting after meeting after meeting, um, uh, I, I think really it's, a, it's one of the least attractive things, except when it's 607 right. or it's 730 <laughs> or it's 807. I mean, that's when I guess you get the juice as a manager that you're back there and you can make uh, the decisions that uh, will have an outcome on the athletes that you lead. I mean, at that point, you become a leader again because that's what managers are uh, at their core. They're leaders of men. 
um, and we've taken a lot of that away. Uh, but um, but that, that's uh, that, and that is a shame. But I think I think you hit the nail on the head. So they have a meeting, they uh, decide what they're going to do. They kind of include Dave Roberts, and and then they execute it. And uh, the players today are. Uh, are fine with that execution. Well, I guess so managing uh, when you're called a manager, you're not just managing your team and the personalities in the dugout, but what you're saying, Ron Darling, is you're managing your pride, you're managing your anger, right? You're managing yeah. your you're managing your own self because, you know, the question is is how much power does a manager have in the 6th or 7th inning when it's already been decided, you know, this guy's coming out no matter what, certainly against this guy, because you've, you know, in your third out of seven meetings of the day, you discussed what happens when this happens in the sixth inning, so on and so forth. You know, I, yeah, I just, well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, this is, this is the dance that they have to perform now. Mm -hmm. And, and I do say that, uh, um, it's really hard and they do an amazing job at it. And the other thing I think you left out is that you're in a, in a clubhouse, with these 26 alpha gentlemen and you're trying to be in a position of power when a lot of your power has been stripped away. That's a really interesting dynamic. I think for, for a manager to try to, uh, to try to walk. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.